a blessed Monday to us. Today's parable from the Gospel of St. Luke is actually a very interesting parable. Well, the parable itself is, but in the way that it is being concluded. Because it somehow comes out of the blue that Jesus said, take care then how you hear. He's talking here about the light. You know, and he's uh, relating it in the manner of hearing. Actually, this is one very beautiful point to reflect or to further our reflections and prayer. Because there are two sides, as we say, there are two sides of the coin. There are two sides of this very beautiful perspective in the Gospel reading today regarding how you hear. What is the first perspective? What is the first side? It is what we hear. Unsay atong mabati, unsay atong madunggan. The message. Now, one thing that is also connected with that is what what is being said is how is it being said? No, mag-agad baya na, no? I remember this joke as a student kay dito sa Negros Oriental na amo na lain-lain nga mga intonation. So bisan galit di sa Cebu, no? Na usahay mag-agad kung kinsay nagsulti kay naay mga lugar nga ang intonation isog kaayo pero dili biya gyud siya isog. Nya napoy uh, intonation nga ko ano kaayo kanang ya ya ra kaayo pero nang isog na di ay to no. Ang joke ani ingon nga sige ron o si lonti ka. Murara murara og na ko ano mura giduyan pero tininuod na di ay to no. So mo na usa na sa mga perspectives nga tong tan-awon. What we hear is sometimes concerned or connected with what is or how it is being said. But the other end, the other perspective is how we hear. Unsaon man nato, sa unsa mang paagi nato gipamati. And this has something to do with the dispositions that we have. There are certain beautiful things that are being said to us, but depending on our disposition, bati og epekto sa ato. That's why we always ask the question, where am I coming from? No? So muni ang usa sa mga nindot kay nga hagit sa pulong sa Dios. The very message is the same, but it actually is received differently in the manner or how it is being listened to. Apiktado sa niya sa how it is being said. That's the reason why usa sa mga shocking experiences na ako karong adlawa early in the morning when I was doing the, the reflections, the meditation of pray as you go. <clears throat> the introductory section of the explanation and meditation is Jesus is actually saying a joke here. No? Na jolted gugo. No? Kung sa may joke anang no one who lights a lamp and conceals it with a vessel, tinood bitaw na joke. No? Pero whoever had thought, no? kisa may nagtuo nga naada yung mga joke sa Bible, di ba? Ang uban maingon nga, puro ramon na seryoso nang nasa Biblia. Ay, dili, ay, naikatawanan sa. Pero, we take it in a very religious sense. But in what way that it is a joke, it now depends on how it comes to us. Ako, na kurat ko ganina nga, nindot na kaya ako ang meditation, akong, akong, akong disposition, pag iyon nga, Jesus was joking, nakalit ko ko ka, kuan, no, morang naputol ang ako ang, connecti- ang akong connection. Of course, I had to struggle to go back again and then realize that, yes, it depends on how we listen. Muni ang challenge nato sa ato ang kaugalingon. And as a community as well, no, daghan kay tang madungog. No, ang uban gani naka makadungog og fake news, mutuo. No? It's not only what is said, but it's how we take it. Muna nga we really have to be very uh, serious and be very uh, vigilant about things that we have heard. But in as much as the word of God and the message of salvation is concerned, it is always concerned with how the heart embraces the message. Because it is then that we begin to realize and make the de- dynamism towards a responsive action. Kay ang pulo nga gisulti ato amang yung tubagon in our deeds and in our actions. Amen.